Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple trick for finding out what's really behind a bit.ly link. Bit.ly is a great URL shortener for taking really long, complicated URLs for things like Google Slides presentations and putting them into things you can actually spell. But sometimes Bit.ly is also used for purposes that are not so good. So let's take a look at how this little trick works. Let's say we've got this URL, which is bit.ly slash THWT April. And remember, bit.ly URLs are case sensitive. Now, in this case, this particular URL actually goes to my slide presentation for Intro to Teaching History with Technology. A pretty normal use of bit.ly is taking this long URL here and making sure that it is shortened down to something people can spell and taking them directly to this slideshow. But if you want to find out what's really behind a bit.ly link, you can simply take the URL. My original URL was this bit.ly slash THWT April. I just added a plus symbol to the end of it. So simply typing in the plus at the end will take you to this page. So again, if I just used bit.ly.com THWT April, that takes me there. But if I add the plus symbol, it shows me what's behind it. In this case, we see amazingly simple graphic design software Canva and the link that goes right here. So it takes you to that original link. So that's how you can find out what's really behind a bit.ly link. Just add that little plus symbol to the end of the link that you're given, and you're going to see the bit.ly page that shows the original link on it. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.